Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we have a bit of exciting stock market news, but quite a few notable earnings reports to cover. And of course, we'll see which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Don't forget to follow us over on TikTok as well under the username TipRanks for quick news updates. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. Ahead of the Jackson Hole Symposium tomorrow, U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning. This also comes as China announced a $117 billion fiscal stimulus that will focus on infrastructure spending. Right now, Dow futures are up 0.25%, S&P 500 futures up 0.58%, and Nasdaq futures up 0.68%. Of course, several key Chinese stocks are up in the pre-market as well. MasterCard is getting more into the crypto business. They've signed Binance and Bitso as new crypto card partners. The Binance card will let people pay with cryptocurrencies at stores that accept MasterCard. The card is initially being launched in Argentina and will roll out from there. With the card, you can make everyday purchases with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies, and the crypto is converted into fiat money to settle the bill. They've also partnered with Bitso on a credit card service. They are a Mexican crypto platform that supports trading and other transactions. Analysts currently rate the MasterCard stock a strong buy with an average upside of over 21%. And just a reminder, if your Tesla holdings look quite different this morning, that they've now completed their stock split. The Tesla stock underwent a three-for-one stock split, with shareholders receiving a stock dividend last night and the stock now trading at its adjusted price of about $300 per share this morning. Now we're going to move right over to notable earnings reports. As I said, we have quite a few big names to cover. In the pre-market this morning, we're hearing from several companies like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Abercrombie & Fitch, Burlington Stores, and several Canadian banks. But the big news this morning is Peloton. Their stock was up over 20% yesterday on the news that they'd start selling their bikes through Amazon. But this morning, they've now declined 15% after posting a wider than expected loss for their fourth quarter. Peloton's revenue fell 28% year-over-year to $678.7 million, falling short of analyst estimates of $718.2 million. Their loss per share widened to $3.68 from $1.05 the year prior and much wider than the estimated loss of $0.78 cents per share. The company said that they aim to reach break-even cash flow on a quarterly basis in the second half of fiscal 2023. They did not provide any new fiscal updates for the year. Analysts currently rate the stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 30%. Looking at the after hours last night, we also had several big names reporting, one of those being Nvidia, who did have disappointing revenue forecasts for the next quarter. They cited difficult macroeconomic environment and a rapid fading of demand. They reported adjusted earnings of $0.51 cents per share, which was slightly ahead of the estimates of $0.50 cents and revenue of $6.7 billion in line with expectations. But looking forward to the next quarter, they said that revenue would be in a range with a midpoint of $5.9 billion, which was far below the estimated at $6.9 billion. Analysts do currently rate the NVIDIA stock a strong buy with an average upside of 34%. We also heard from Splunk. They posted better than expected results and increased their future forecast. However, the stock is falling based on a slowdown in the company's pipeline. They posted a narrower expected loss of 22 cents compared to the 36 cent loss expected and revenue was up 32% year over year to 799 million. The company is now seeing full year operating cash flow of at least 420 million, up from the previous target of 400. But they did trim their forecast for full year annual recurring revenue to 3.65 billion, down from 3.9 billion previously. Analysts currently rate the Splunk stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 21%. Salesforce posted better than expected results, but trimmed their full year guidance. They also announced a $10 billion stock repurchase program, the first in the company's 23-year history. Revenue was reported at $1.19 per share, ahead of the $1.02 estimated, and revenue of $7.7 billion was in line with expectations and grew nearly 22% year-over-year. 
Analysts currently rate their stock a strong buy with an average upside of nearly 31%. And actually green in the pre-market this morning, we have Snowflake, who posted strong quarterly results and raised their full year guidance. Their revenue was up 83% year over year at 497.2 million, easily outpacing the Wall Street estimates of 467.5 million. Their net revenue retention was up 171%. For the third quarter, they're now projecting product revenue of 500 to 505 million, which is up 60 to 62%. Analysts currently rate the Snowflake stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 19% and plenty of ratings being reiterated today with very bullish outlooks. In the after hours today, we'll be hearing from Affirm Holdings, Marvell Technologies, Ulta Beauty, and Workday to name a few. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Snowflake following their solid earnings report. Trading under the ticker SNOW, the stock is up over 18%. They're followed by Autodesk under ADSK, they're up 8.6%, and Fate Therapeutics under FATE, up 8.8%. And our biggest losers this morning are led by Peloton, following their much wider than expected loss. Under the ticker PTON, the stock is down over 16%. They're followed by Splunk under the ticker SPLK, down 9.09%, and Burlington Stores under BURL, down just over 9%. So that is going to be everything for Thursday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you back here next time.